what's up guys, I'm the East Coast of Fan. Today I'm at Adventureland for Pumpkin Park, which is this really cool event they do in Halloween. And I'm right by the main ticket booth, but I already bought my ticket. What I'm here for is the ride next door. This is called the Balloon Tower. And a couple days ago, as to when I'm recording this, they announced on their social media that this ride is going to be leaving for the 2020 season. Trains passing by. So, anytime a ride leaves Adventureland, there's you could be certain that there's going to be one replacing it. And this one has been here for a really long time. It was installed in 2002 and has really become an icon for the park because of this orange ball at the top. You can spot this orange sphere uh, at many places in the park. Plus the ride kind of has this weird theming. I don't know if this was just like how it came and they had no control or it was Adventureland's decision, but they have these football players on the side. You can kind of see that even though the ride has nothing to do with football. Uh, the ride was made by SBF, which is a common manufacturer that they use here at Adventureland. Uh, other rides like uh, the spinning cars, surfs up I believe, and there used to be a ride here called Drop and Twist Tower that was replaced by Lighthouse this year. That was also made by SPF. So it's going to be another SPF ride going. Originally it had eight cars, but now it has six. You can actually see where the car used to be because it has these spots. I personally don't know why they removed it, the cars, uh, but it definitely reduced the capacity of the ride when they took it out. Also the height restriction changed too as time went on. Originally uh, you had to be uh, just 48 to go on and then if you were under I believe you needed an adult. But I believe it was last year or two years ago they started implementing this policy that uh, you couldn't be higher than 54. It kind of stinks because one, I can't get my last ride on it, and it, it again uh, limits how many rides older audiences can do at Adventureland because uh, we can't do the teacup, so the balloon tower was the next best thing. But anyway, while I'm waiting for this ride to start. <laughs> Uh, I started thinking about what could possibly uh, replace this ride because it's in a very uh, small area like a lot of the rides are at this park and it's surrounded by the ticket booth, uh, the bungee jump, and the frog bog. So they gotta work with their space carefully. Now what I've always wanted in the park is a uh, big drop tower. Like something at least 100 feet. Because in the past we've always had these smaller drop towers. Drop and twist tower and we just got lighthouse. But those are small and I guess you could call them pity drop towers. I think a big drop tower here would be a fantastic fit for the park. Oops, it's starting. And it requires little space. You can really go as high as you want. There's nothing above it and nothing blocking it. How the line would work, I'm not sure. That would have to be a decision they make on their own. But it's just an idea. We'll eventually figure out what they uh, add next year. But as this ride is going, it's sad to see it go. Now I just uh, recorded a couple clips of this ride. So it'll be its final goodbye. I'll see you guys later.
I hope you guys enjoyed those clips of the balloon tower and may it rest in peace, but I'm looking forward to the future. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!